Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nizio Cole, and today I have another Watch Dogs 2 mod review for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the ultimate overhaul mod on Nexus Mods. Now this mod adds a crazy amount to the game. It combines a whole bunch of pre-existing mods, but it also adds a whole bunch of new features. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about that in this video. So first off, there are some graphical and shader tweaks from mods like Natural San Francisco and E3 V2. They've added the black net hack which in my opinion honestly looks a lot better than the default dark blue navy blue net hack that's in the game. And they've also added the no boundaries mods which basically just gets rid of the boundaries on the edges of the map but I will warn you that if you fall off the map then it'll do some pretty weird things. They've added the complete car on demand mod. This is similar to other mods I've reviewed in the past. They've also added some guns in from Watch Dogs 1 and this is actually really really cool because they come and they're fully, they're just the guns from Watch Dogs 1 and I believe they have actually added one other gun that was cut from Watch Dogs 2 as well. And if you want to access these you just go down into any hacker space with a 3D printer and you go and make it. There's also a character changer which is probably one of my favorite features. You can also change the time of day and activate god mode. There's a new pause menu and they've added the less intrusive GPS mod which honestly it's one of my favorite mods on Nexus mods. It's I'm really really happy that they've added it into this mod because you know I want other mods but I also want this mod. It's a nice small touch but it's kind of crazy to me even seeing footage from Watch Dogs Legion it's kind of crazy to me that they've kept the same GPS the same wide GPS uh, on the road for the past three games. There's also a feature to walk in place. It's called air braking, I guess. And you can go and explore old mission interiors, which is really cool. And then another mod that they've added is a police rebalance mod that has been on Nexus mods for a minute. But uh, I think this is a really cool mod for one. Uh, the police don't instantly just try and shoot down your car when you crash into their car or if you like lightly bump their car I always thought that was the stupidest thing ever you lightly bump their car and now they you the whole SWAT team's on you but uh yeah this is a really cool mod it adds a ton of features completely overhauls the San Francisco Police Department and I think it is a really really cool addition to the game and now there are two versions of this mod there is a version with more improved graphics and better textures better foliage and water textures and then there's one with just the regular textures. I didn't notice that much of a difference as far as FPS goes from the version with better textures than the version with the regular textures, but I don't know. But I will say there definitely was an FPS drop from around 10 to 15 frames while having this mod installed. Now, obviously this will be different on each, each different system, but if you have trouble running this mod, there also is a light version of this mod. In the description, it says you could basically run this on a toaster. So I think that's really cool. So yeah, links will be in the description. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this mod. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.